Hey guys, I'm Morten and you're watching Deck Me Out. I'm going to be reviewing three of my decks from last month and I'm going to give you insight on what worked, why some things didn't work and how to improve your game. The format that we are playing this year is gonna be the duels format. Let me break this down for you guys. First, players bring 4 decks with 32 different cards. Each deck can only play it once and we must with a best of 3 so we always need to switch up our decks and we can just play every deck and every card once. My first deck I chose is the Graveyard Cycle deck. It's a really strong deck, it's all really solid in a dual mode so you can use a ton of spells and cards which you don't really need in other decks. In my Graveyard deck especially there's like the Fireball, Knight, Skeletons, Archers, Mega Man and Mag Mega Man and Archers aren't really cards you use in different decks so that's why I decided Graveyard and Graveyard overall is one of the best decks in the meta in the game so I really like to have this as a really solid safe deck. So as I said, triple leaks at time. It's more like spamming graveyards overall and just try to be aggressive. But I think right now this is a huge push. He has two Mega Knights on the field and I was kind of worried here. But I'm going for High Knight. Actually a really great um, Miner by him, great Zap also. So I'm kind of scared here that something is logging on. So I'm just spamming my troops and just hope, okay, please don't be too much damage because I know I can still get like 400, 500 damage with one graveyard and my spells on it. So I'm actually cycling three Mega Minions, really great defense for me, I think. So 200 damage, disadvantage still, but I know I have like, you know, uh, one more graveyard push. Going with the graveyard here, putting all my spells in a tower, I'm just like praying, please skeletons connect to a tower. I'm getting the minor catch here with the skeletons on defense, going also with the knight and... Yeah, good game. GG uh, GG to same for sure. He played really well, but 200 HP. Um, as I said, like in triple league time, there's like almost no way for him to win the game there. The next deck I'm gonna show you is the Hawk Rider deck. Hawk EQ, kind of like in a different variation with the Inferno Tower in it because I just feel like in a dual mode, especially Inferno Tower can really help because you see more Golem, more Lava, and more e giant than you see in the normal modus. And that's why I put Inferno Tower in. Hawk Rider over really solid, can be a really good surprise, especially. You can have the Earthquake in it, I decide for the Fireball because they had the Earthquake in a different deck. People didn't really expect to see it, so just in the surprise factor, I decide to pick Hawk Cycle as well. And we go for Lock here, he's gonna nado that, he's gonna get a ton of damage with the Miner here once again. I'm just going with a Hawk Rider here. The Warpackers are not enough, so I'm gonna go for the Q here. And I think I'm just gonna go in with another Knight at the bridge. He's gonna go in with a... Miner here is gonna go in with Tornado as well, he's gonna get a ton of damage. I'm gonna Lock here and I'm just gonna go in with a Miner. I have a Hawk Rider as well. He's going for Magic Arch Prediction, which didn't work out. I'm going to go with that. He gets the Bomb Tower last second, and now I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to cycle here. I should have played this time. I should have played the Lock in the defense, and then kind of try to retarget the... Um the Miner on the Knight and then EQ his tower because that would have been enough but I just tried, okay, I thought like just try to spell out his tower, just cycle my lock on the tower and get back to another EQ. Nothing is there, nothing is there to catch the Miner, there's the NATO, Morton loses by 29 HP. Oh my god, Magic Archer again for Morton in a championship game and just ends up being the absolute nightmare, the demon he can't get away from. But in this situation, I should have played the lock on defense, then played the knight on the miner and redirected, and then just go with the Q. So, yeah, it was a great day. I think I played overall, maybe there were just like one, two things I could have played better. So, my favorite tip for you guys, if you want to be a CRL pro player, like the first tip is always try to improve your gameplay and play as much as you can. I felt like I improved a lot while I just played the game a lot. I played with friends, I played with challenges, I played top ladder, and I just improved with different decks by playing a lot. This was Deck Me Out, and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next qualifier. See you guys.